Well, hello everyone and welcome to Talk of the Town with me, Lynn About Town, here in my town of sunny Clearwater, Florida. And today in studio, I have a good friend, a wonderful girl, a mom, an artist, a business owner, Heather Tapia. Hello, Lynn. Hi, thanks for coming today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So she's not only beautiful, people, I want you to know something, she's smart. And all this beautiful art that you see behind me are just a little touch of what she has done and is continuing to do. So, Heather, you live here in the Tampa Bay area. Yes. Do you live in Clearwater or do you live in Safety Harbor? Oh, I live in Clearwater, but actually right over by Safety Harbor, which works perfectly because, like you said, I'm a mom and my kids do sports. So all the fields are around our house, which is why we live there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And, you know, um, your husband, David, yes. is an Allstate agent. Yeah, he's an Allstate agent, and he's had his business right here in downtown Clearwater for, I guess, the past 13 years since our middle son was born. He opened the business. Yeah. Well, he's our insurance agent here, just so you know. Oh, yay. Now, Heather has been married a while. She has three boys, and we do have that in common. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are their ages? Um, they are 10, 13, and then the oldest is turning 21 this Saturday. Oh, man. So yeah. you've got teenager, preteen, and basically a man of the world. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yep. <laughs> so let's talk about your art. Yeah. First of all, how did you start? When did you start? I mean, because this is all so beautiful, and obviously you don't have like one thing that you're doing in art. Right. You're doing lots of things. So when did you start and how did you start um, as an artist? Well, when I was little, um, we lived with my grandparents for a while in Miami, like my mom and all of us, my brother. Um, at that time, I only had one brother. Now I have many more. Uh, but uh, my grandma used to have, she's an artist, and she had at the time a specialty hair bow company, like where she would make literally any kind of hair bow or any hair accessory mm. uh, down in Miami. And then my grandpa was retired um, from the Air Force. So he would go around to all the specialty boutiques in Miami, Miami Beach, and so they had this whole business. So she had this room, which I still remember. It's like the greatest place. It was her den that they made into like a, a whole like art room. So she had walls and walls of like ribbons and I don't know, like everything you could think of. Like Girl's buttons, dream. paint, like everything. So um, I would just start making stuff in there with her like all the time. And, you know, of course she would like feed us her snacks. So the grandma's food's always really good. And um, we would just do art in there. So that kind of started it. And then um, my parents, funny story. <laughs> Uh, they got rid of the cable TV when I was about seven or eight. So I'm one of these like very rare people who has never hardly seen any movies or TV shows. So usually when people ask me about that kind of stuff. I'm like, hmm, yeah, no, sorry. Missed that. <laughs> Missed all of it. And of course, I didn't like it at the time. But instead, I just drew. So like all day long, I drew pictures and then, yeah, did painting. And I ended up becoming like the kid who, for all of our family's friends, like did all their projects, like anything that had to do with like art. Or like illustration. Heather was the girl. Mm -hmm. Writing stories for people. Like I illustrated a book once for this family, for their kid when they were graduating, I think middle school. Aww. Just all, all these projects. And then um, at the age of 12, my mom put me in an art school, um, which was probably the best thing that they ever did. And uh, that was when I got to, like they had two different classrooms, one for like, you know, drawing and painting. And then there was a whole ceramic studio. And we were taught by professional artists. And Beautiful. we always got to go on field trips. So you were just like half the day doing art and then the other half, you know, your academics. There was a special high school and uh, we were, I was born in Miami and then we moved to Lakeland, Florida. And there was a high school over there called um, Harrison School of the Visual and Performing Arts. And you can audition um, to go to school for the, like for the arts there. So uh, my teachers were like, oh, you should audition for this place. And I was like, OK, I guess so. So I went and auditioned and I got in. And then the really cool part was that the school, um, the art part was in a museum. So oh, every, how yeah, great. I know. So also so much motivation, right? Yeah. I mean, you would just suddenly see a, an old column and go like, ooh, Greek. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm tapping into the, the Greek arts. Yeah, it was so cool. They had like, when you first come in, there was like kind of like the more, I guess, all the ancient artifacts and stuff. So there was like lots of pottery. I think a lot of like probably African art, Egyptian, like just different displays they would rotate through. And then in the main gallery, there would be, like, um, whoever, like, new artists. They were always, like, kind of rotating out. Beautiful. Yeah, and two of my teachers actually had their art there because they're very successful professional artists. Um, so it Lucky. Was, yeah, I know. I'm, like, 
I, when I left there, I was really sad. I tried to go back often. I would go visit when I was in college. <laughs> and then I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> no, but you know, yeah. I bet they would uh, really appreciate that. I mean, yeah. that's not like a, a like a stalker. No, they you know? were... <laughs> like, this is the art. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is very different. Yeah, I was like, I couldn't quite like leave at first. I was like, I love it. So um, we would go upstairs in the museum and there was these like two giant um, classrooms, like probably like the whole length of the museum. And you had every single art material that you needed was, like, provided for you. Wow. Yeah. And then they had, you know, obviously we had artists as teachers. And then they would bring in different professional artists regularly to teach us different styles. Mm. Um, so we learned a little bit of everything. Ceramics, photography, painting, drawing, like, you name it. And that, again, was half of my day all through school. Wow. Yeah. So, Sounds just idyllic. You know what I was thinking? I have a saying yeah. that is, if you don't have it, you can't use it. Yeah. And that, which is why my iPhone has, you know, about 80,000 photos and videos. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think I'm exaggerating, I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm up to about the 80 now. I believe you. <laughs> but, but if I don't take it and I don't have it, I can't use that photo later for making a card or, you know, getting inspired by something. So I'm picturing you, right, the way you yes. describe that room with all the materials in it. And for an artist to just be among all that talent mm -hmm. and the, the professional advice is just waiting, but it's waiting for you to want it. Yeah. So then if the materials are there, you'll dabble in them. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll grab them and, right? Is that yeah. what happened to you? Yeah, it was perfect. Literally everything was there. And like I said, I mean, I had already been drawing all my whole life. And actually it was a way that I used to like handle any issue I had in my life almost. Would I would just like draw a picture, even in class. Like I had some teachers, of course, when like in middle school. And like, let's say you have like a strict English teacher. Well, my friend would be like, oh, draw a picture. So I would like draw a picture of her during, well, probably somewhat during class, you know. I was always ahead of my work also. And then I would kind of like make fun of the situation, but like in a fun, playful way. Yeah. And my teacher would like, this one teacher I had, she got the picture and she like loved it so much. No And then she put me in charge of like teaching all the younger kids and the Look younger classes. Look at that, classes. you handled the yeah. whole problem. <laughs> so it was always just like a fun way. So as soon as I went into this class, and then, you know, you have these people that are willing to help you. And I already came in with like this excitement of like learning and then you have all these like your peers that you know it's like hey you should try this oh no what about this idea so you're constantly like learning and seeing each other's work and you can use that feedback and um it was such like a really just cool like very special opportunity to be able to oh, do yeah. that mm -hmm. i bet your mom was just so happy that everything was falling into place because yeah. she was able to deliver that but also have you be in the location yes <laughs> to get such a great school is the school still around yeah they're still around over in lakeland um uh, my funny enough uh without even like knowing this like all of my in-laws a lot of them have actually gone there and one goes there now look it's at that so weird yeah i've got a cousin who graduated from there from dance through uh david's side of the family my uh brother-in-law actually graduated there from theater um, you know, or I think the drama department. Yeah. Uh, my nephew just auditioned. Well, he's been there a couple of years and he does piano there. That's so incredible. it's so funny, like all on Dave's side of the family that we have three people that also went to school there. And then my sister and my brother also went to the fine arts program. Wow. Yeah. That's wonderful. And I, I'm happy to know about the school because I did not know about it and it's yeah. not that far away. So, no. so if you have a kid that's like an artist and needs something like that, it's definitely like a one of a, you know, kind opportunity. Excellent. Yeah.